Today on Be Something Wonderful, when all hell breaks loose in 3D reality, what to do? I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Good morning, creators. Another big morning, another big day here in 3D reality and in ultimate reality, because there is no separation. I want to talk about a few things, a few sessions that I had, and actually some questions and comments on the channel. All of them centered around when, when conditions get contrary, when all hell breaks loose, in a few cases, in 3D reality. And, I, and there were a lot of questions around this. And I'm bringing up one question that uh, a few that were on the channel, one specifically talking about a specific person, about attracting a specific person, quote, back into their life. But also there was one about working conditions, new, new management, and then there was another around financial difficulties. But in all cases, right, and even as I was talking with my clients in my sessions, the, que the question is not, why are these conditions happening, right? That's the wrong question. It, and because some of them were asking, well, I don't understand why this is happening, why I'm seeing two or three different third parties with respect to this specific person, or at work, why are, the, why are these conditions happening, or why are these financial difficulties getting worse? All of that is just putting your attention and focus on the unwanted, on the conditions of the script that is no longer your choice. So the real question is, you, you're saying that you're in a state of wish fulfilled, but really are you? Are you in a state of wish fulfilled? Are you, or are you in a state of wishing that things and conditions were different? Because the answer to that question, it will determine everything, <laughs> right? In all cases, these clients and these, and these and those subscribers that are asking appear to be in a state of wishing things were different, wishing conditions were different. Their attention's on the conditions that they want to change, the conditions that they want to be different, rather than being in the state, that new reality, that new identity where things are different. So let's unpack this like we never have before. All hell breaks loose. I just want you to remember because you're breaking loose from a reality and version of yourself that is no longer your choice, that, is, that you no longer agree is your reality. Do you hear it? That's why it appears that all hell's breaking loose. But as you keep your attention on the hell, <laughs> on the unwanted conditions, then you're, you're not in a state of wish fulfilled, you're in a state of wishing things were different right? Accept unwanted conditions as one quantum possibility out of an infinite number of possibilities, which I've talked about in many videos now, while announcing, claiming, occupying, affirming, imagining, and assuming your chosen reality version of yourself. In other words, going to the end of your imagined end, of your desired end, and staying there. That's being in the state of wish fulfilled. So let's hit this a little bit more. And it's not even about feeling good all the time. I want to hit that. Because once you assume you're that person, you're that identity, you're going to have the range of 3D feelings and emotions that accompany any state, right? So it's not about that. It's about transcending it. It's about being more than those conditions, more than those feelings, more than those temporary thoughts. So... Accepting all possibilities, realities, and versions, versions of yourself is about recognizing and being aware of yourself as the one and only source and creator of reality. Hear it again. If you want to know what a state of wish fulfilled is, this is it. Accepting all possibilities, all realities, and versions of about rec is about recognizing and being aware of yourself as the one and only source and creator of your reality. And then choosing and occupying, assuming the reality of your choice, the identity of your choice. It's not about giving up or giving in or acquiescing or reluctantly accepting judged terrible conditions, right? You're judging them as terrible with the thought, okay, now I better get what I want. I accept it, okay, but I better get what I want. That's not what we're talking about. 
That implies a second source or a power outside of yourself where there is only one you, one source, one reality, one power, one love, you, 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 one, one, one. So the science of the mind, Ernest Holmes says it brilliantly. And I've used this quote before and I want to use it again because it is so powerful. There's one infinite spirit. And every time man says, I am, he proclaims it. One infinite spirit. Every time you say, I am, you proclaim it. There is one infinite substance. And every time man moves, he moves in it. One infinite substance. And every time you move, you move in it. Right? You are the substance. There's one infinite law. It's absolute. And every time man thinks, he sets it in motion. Every time you think you set that law in motion, every time you assume something, believe something, think something, feel something, you set it in motion. There's one infinite God, and every time man speaks to this God, he receives a direct answer. You're always receiving a direct answer, yet you're asking all those questions. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the questions, just know that the God gives you a direct answer right there. You're surrounded by it, right? One, 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 I am God and there's no one else. Ernest Holmes and, and Science of the Mind. So powerful, I love it. So, so here's the subscriber from the channel and I really wanna break this down because this is about a specific person, right? About a relationship, that's okay. But remember, it applies to all of the clients that I've been talking with over the last few days. The one that was having financial difficulties. The one that was having, uh, dip, quote, difficulties in their work setting with a new management team. It all applies to the same thing. It's all the same thing, guys. But, but with this comment on the channel, the way this subscriber asked it, it covers all areas. So I really want to cover it. First, this, this subscriber says, I'm in a process to manifest my SP back from seven months. Let's look at that sentence. Let's look what that person's saying. You're, when you say I'm in the process to manifest my SP back seven months, you're creating a reality and you're conscious of being in a process of manifesting, right? But not in the assumption and end of already being and having it. Not in already being there. Do you see it? You just create a, a, a process of manifesting, but never getting it, never receiving it, never recognizing it, never perceiving it. Do you see it? And then the, the second point here, manifest my SP back. That implies that you're trying to change the script. You're trying to change one quantum possibility. You're trying to change one part of God, one part of infinity. All possibilities exist, right? All scripts exist. The scripts are written. It's not about changing any one script. Right? You're trying to change one possible reality, one version of yourself versus moving to your new choice, your new reality, your new film role, your new script, your new version, your new identity of you. It's very clear here, right? You're, you're not manifesting anyone back. You're moving to the new reality where that person's already in your life and never left, right? And then you say seven months, believing in linear time and linear conditions, all of that. Is, is the answer to your question. And we're gonna unpack this even more. Then you go on to say, I stay in my wish fulfilled, but each time I manifest what I don't want with ease. Hear what you're saying. A state of wish fulfilled is not about trying to feel good until an outer condition makes you feel something else. Do you see it, <laughs> right? You're saying I'm staying in my age for a little bit each time I manifest what I don't want with ease. Well, that is, that's contra the law. So you're not in a state of wish fulfilled. You must be in a state of wishing the conditions were different than they are. Wishing that, 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 the, that these things that you don't want are not happening. That's what you're in a state of. It's law, there's no other way. It's not about imagining the current script is changed into something else. That, remember, you're focused on that current script and you want it to change. So you're saying, I'm stating my wish fulfilled, I'm feeling good about changing it, or that it's changed. But you're focused on the old script, do you see it? No matter how good you can feel or can maintain that, that temporary 3D state of feeling good, 
It's not going to change unless you're conscious of being that new reality. It's about being conscious of being, hear this, being conscious of being the identity and version of yourself that's already living and enjoying the new reality, the new script, the new film role, and the new life. It's not about changing the unwanted script. It's not about changing unwanted circumstances. You, you are not in a state fulfilled and, at the, and, and in the end of your wish fulfilled. You're not in the end, right? You think you are, you believe you are, you, you want to think you are, but what, what's really happening? You're in a state of wishing things and conditions were different versus a state of wish fulfilled. And even here, it, 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 you, you go on and say, for example, now you give an example. The fact, now you're stating facts. You're creating that reality. You're saying it's a fact. And that means facts can't be changed. Facts are permanent according to the 3D linear laws, right? You're saying that the fact that she's not here with me and I manifested two third parties. Now you're justifying that, right? You're saying you're in a state of wish fulfilled, but how can that be? If there's a fact that she's not with you and that you manifested two third parties, right? You're announcing your reality. And that was already a reality before you announced it because you felt it, you believed it. And then it became reality, right? There are no facts, just what you assume, just what you believe and just what you call forth, right? It's not about manifesting from some outside power, right? It's not by trying to maintain a state of feeling good or what you think is wish fulfilled until that outside power decides to give you what you want before you can manifest something outside of yourself. You're perceiving it within yourself, right? It's an inner perception. It's an inner creation, right? It's all you. Do you hear it? You created that reality. You're calling that a fact. You're, you're calling that final. And it can't be anything else but that, right? It's about who you are conscious of being, your assumptions and beliefs, what you announce of reality. You announce reality there. That's done, right? Remember, you're in a state of wishing that you didn't announce reality, wishing things were different, wishing those conditions were different. So being in a state of wish fulfilled doesn't mean you won't hear this. You won't see conditions that appear contrary or have thoughts that seem opposite, or feel emotions that are not elevated. Joy, love, gratitude. It doesn't mean any of that, right? It means you see, you know, and are aware of the greater reality behind it all. It doesn't mean that, that, that you're not gonna have those temporary manifestations and conditions of contrary physical conditions, contrary thoughts, and contrary emotions right? Sensations that don't feel elevated. It simply means that you see and know and are aware that there's a greater reality behind it all. So the question for you, when you say you're in a state of wish fulfilled, are you seeing the greater reality behind it all? And the answer is not right now, because you just said, for example, the fact she's not here with me and I manifested two third parties. You wouldn't be stating that as fact if you saw the greater reality behind it all. That's all I'm trying, I'm trying to move you to this, guys. It, I get it. We all do this. We all have gone through this. So I, I'm here with you, right? I'm holding that space for you. I'm with you. It means you are the new version of yourself. That's what mean, uh, being in a state of wish fulfilled means. It means you're that new version of yourself. You're right. You identify with that new reality no matter what. The temporary inner and outer conditions of the world of duality and relativity are appearing to show you. I'm going to hit it again because now we know. It's not about a certain feeling. It's about an absolute conviction that can't be shaken, that's supported by law, the law of being, the law of God, the law, the law of all there is, that when, it, that when you're in a new version of yourself and you identify with that new reality, no matter what the temporary inner and outer conditions of the world of relativity and duality show you, then you are it. And then that 3D world must yield to that state of being, period, right? When all hell breaks loose in 3D reality, that's what to do. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself, a big version of yourself, but the best. 
Guys, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos in the channel with your, some of you are sharing it with your kids and your relatives and your cousins and your uncles and your aunts. I love this. Thank you. Thank you for being with me. We have a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. That's a group that is open to you where you can join it and share insight and guidance with others and also ask for insight and guidance. You can find us on, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or Be Something Wonderful.com for all that information and more. With great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen coming to you from our studios in the United States in Las Vegas, Nevada. Until next time, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, see you soon.